Welcome back, folks. Thanks for visiting the channel. My name is Matt Sr., CEO and founder of 412 Public Safety Equipment Customs here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So today, as you can tell, we have some friends with us. Everybody keeps asking. Yes, we do have elves on a shelf in the shop. Okay, so with that out of the way, make sure uh, all your kids know Santa's watching. So today's video is about another bunch of Technic products. So as I said before, in the emergency warning video series, Technique makes a very wide variety of equipment. So today, we are bringing to you the P-Series, which is their Steelhead Series. That's the work lights in the back there. You see the P4, the P6, and the P2. Of course, the number correlates to the number of LEDs included in the light and we also have a variety of the e-series lights um, some of you may be familiar with the e10 um, a lot of people call them the pump panel light because they're widely used on pump panels um, we have the e06 the e13 um, and a couple others. So we're going to talk about them a little bit today. Um, so as you can tell, the P-Series comes in three varieties. Comes in a two LED, which is this guy right here. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this, but this one is the... Um, spot lens so these all come in a flood option or a spot option they also come in either a black finish or they're offered also in a white so if you need a white or if you need maybe like to color match and paint them I would recommend picking up a white one they they definitely paint a little bit easier than the black. The black is kind of hard to paint over. So, just to give you a little background on the P-Series and give you some numbers. Um... So these are work lights that were designed for extreme environments. Um, they're vib vibration resistant. They're 100% waterproof. As I said before, they come in two projection modes. They come in either a flood series or the spot series. You can order them uh, either way. They come in a black or a white um, Either color is a heavy-duty powder-coated. Um, so, they have an operating range of 10 to 30 volts. These are IP68 rated. So, they are 100% waterproof. Um, they're rated to over 50,000 hours. The mounting hardware that comes with it is um, stainless steel. So the P2, which is the smallest of the family, comes in at 750 lumens. The P4 is rated at 1100 lumens. And the P6, the big boy back there, they have that rated at 1900 lumens so let's take a look at the p4 
So there we have the P4. This is the flood lens. So it is um, slightly different than the spot lens. Not much, just slightly. And I'll tell you what, these things are super, super bright for how little they are. Obviously, you can see the fins on the back there for the heat dissipation. Um, they're definitely recognizable as a Technique product there. And there we have P6. As always, the leads are a cable. That is a sealed cable. That's not two separate pieces of wire that they just put some heat shrink over. Um, have the epoxy filling where the wire leads come out. And this hardware, folks, this is real stainless steel. This isn't that cheap old stuff that um, a lot of companies say is stainless steel, but when you get it and you put it on uh, your push bumper or your roof rack, uh, a month later you look at it and there's rust all over the place. That's true stainless steel. Okay, so they are absolutely wonderful work lights so let's get into the e10 um so the e10 has utilizes the hourglass kind of like wide lux um lens it is pretty unique to the technique series i haven't seen anything like it um but this light has 120 degree spread from side to side, and then from top to bottom, it's a 50 degree spread. Um, this can be purchased by itself, or it also comes on a stainless steel, chrome plated stainless steel angle bracket. Um, a lot of uses for it are for ground lighting. We use these quite a bit um, for ground lighting with the stainless steel bracket. I don't have one in stock with the stainless steel bracket, so I will I will definitely bring you guys uh, another video with that version whenever I, I get it in here. So... Well, actually, we can light that up. Hold on, I'll be right back. So, here is the E10 pump panel light. In its glory. Very bright. Funny how quality equipment only takes three LEDs to blind you. A lot of other companies, you know, sell those products and, you know, they brag, Oh, there's 500 LED diodes, you know. It's not always the more the merrier. If you're getting a quality product, you don't need 100 LED diodes to brighten up your day. Okay, so, let's get into the E6 in E13. So that's the only two that I have in stock right now and the reason I'm bringing these ones to you is because these two are the Silho X version. This is um, what they're calling this line. These are a very slim line compact dome light um, 
combination dome light, um, compartment lights. So the two that we have here, this is the E13. So the E13 is two and three quarter inch light. This light contains four diodes. Okay, so there is a snap-on lens that has optics there for you. And then here's the inside. I don't know if you can, you might be able to see it better if I put it at an angle. Um, I don't know if you can see, but that whole board is epoxy coated. This comes with three white LEDs and one red LED right in the center. So what you would do is you would mount this with the two screws here. This is a stainless steel piece. And then you have three wires. You have your ground. You have your trigger wire for the white and the trigger wire for the red. So these are great for dome lights. Lifetime warranty, or Technique product. Waterproof board, as you can see, this is all epoxy coated in here. This will never corrode um, the moisture inside your vehicles or your toolboxes or your compartments or uh, back gate. Never an issue. Once you get the, the base of this mounted, you just line this up. There's, there's holes and there's snaps in here. And this will just snap right into place. And uh, that's what really helps out the brightness. It really does. Helps out the spread with the optics. We'll light one of these up for you here in a minute. I want to show you the EOS 6. So this is the other Silho X. This is the EOS 6. So this is the 4 inch. Again, another great dome light option, um, great compartment lighting. You can order these in a humongous variety. I'll explain all that in a minute. This one built the same way. You have your optics on the snap-in lens. Once you get this mounted, stainless steel housing, epoxy coated PCB with all your diodes. This one has uh, an even an even split of diodes. You have six white on the outside, six red on the inside. Same thing with the leads. <clears throat> we normally put these on a three position switch. You have uh, you know a mode one, a mode two, and an off, where the center position is off. You know, we'll put this on a three position toggle everybody loves them the output is amazing you cannot beat the lifetime warranty and these things are crazy bright you wouldn't believe it I'm gonna light one of these up and I'm gonna show you how bright this is but you're not gonna get the real effect without <clears throat> the optic lens now the only reason why I'm not gonna pop the optic lens on is because they are a bit difficult to get off and being this is brand new I really don't want to um, worry about breaking the lens to get it off I mean they're really not that difficult to get off they snap in on two sides and then you can pry them from the back to get them back off but just to be safe I really don't want to do that so if you hold on one second we're gonna hook this up I'm gonna show you some colors on these all right folks I know this isn't the prime situation to show you these but just want to give you an idea of how bright these are so there's your white and there's your red very brilliant red very bright white and another thing um just so you guys know with these e-series E6 
the E13s, the E11s. Um, it, if you're not a fan of the cool white, which is what I have here, they do have these in a neutral white and a warm white LED. So you do have the choice of color as far as the white's concerned. Uh, I know there's people out there that really love that cool crisp white like myself I do prefer the cool white I just believe it is brighter I guess <clears throat> okay so now I'm going to show you the E13 and on this, you know, real simple wiring on these, your ground is the black, your white obviously is your white, and your red is your red. But I mean, even for these little ones, these E13s, you'd be really surprised. Now the red's not so super bright on this one because you only have one single diode there. You know, but if you were using these as sort of a map light situation or you can order these in an all white you know for a compartment light something along those lines so Okay, so Yeah, these so, yeah, you, you can order these in a neutral white, a warm white, and a cool white. So, they're saying that the E6, which is the 4-inch, they're saying that the white produces 380 lumens. The E13... Which is the smaller, they're saying that one's putting out 190 lumens. That's really bright for such a small, such a small light. Oh, you know what? I'm giving you guys the wrong part number. This is not the E13, I apologize. This is the E11. I apologize for that. So this is the E6, this is the E11. I apologize, that's my mistake. The E13s are the colored versions of those. Okay, so let's get into two more of these E-series here. So we have the E60s and the E61. Here is the E61. Great thing about the E61, okay, so number one, this is a three-piece system. Here's your stainless steel cap. The actual fixture itself is this black anodized aluminum. Now, the great thing about this light is this is a flush mount light. So, when you go to install this, you need three holes. You need a hole for your wire lead. And then your two bolt holes. That's it. Rubber gasket to protect your surface. You can see the cooling fins on the front and the back here. These things are great. Um, we do a lot of these on the um, on the back of cruisers, fire engines. A lot of guys have us mount them like this and it gives them um, 
light when they back up. As a matter of fact, the police departments have been asking us to mount these on the sides of their bumpers time into the reverse light so whenever they put their cruiser in reverse these things light up around the back of that car really well now of course you can mount these any way you wish um, the intention for these when they were designed was these were meant to be headlights for a boat so you would mount this on the hull and it would give you your forward facing headlight. Now these are being used a lot more on ambulances, as I said, uh, fire apparatus. So, but they are marine grade. They are 100% waterproof. Um, that is the E61. That's the surface mount design. Um, puts out 1400 lumens. It's waterproof. Uh, it's made with the Texel urethane potting. <clears throat> the stainless steel cover is a 316 stainless steel cover. Um, it does come with the um, the rubber gasket. <clears throat> They're calling this a docking light. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this light and this the 60 and the e61 e60 they're they're sold in pairs so you can't order just one of them they're sold in pairs of two so this is the e61 how cool the technique put their logo on the lens there i think that's really neat so same kind of idea um as i said about um the e61 these were engineered and designed to be headlights for the boating application so they are marine grade stainless steel cap anodized body now here's the difference between the two this one is not a surface mount so this one requires for a larger oval sized hole to be drilled so this can be mounted So that's your difference and the difference in brightness now these are really bright as I said they're marine grade so they are waterproof um, just to give you a little more a little more background on these um, the e61 is putting out 2,000 lumens so I'd be willing to bet that's a 10 watt LED in there because it's only using one single LED waterproof design made with the textile urethane potting um, the anodized cast aluminum heat sink body like the other one 316 stainless steel cover like the other one uh, as I said really the the only difference is the fact that that's not a surface mount. Um, there is another E-series e light that I was hoping to include in this, which is the E96. That's another light that we're using a lot on the ambulances. Um, same kind of design like you have here. It's a surface mount, and it casts light down toward the ground um, really neat light so let's uh, let's fire one of these up for you see if we can't show you how how bright these are so that's the e60 you can see how if you had this mounted on the back bumper of your car, how it would give you a really bright shot to the back, but also to the side. With uh, light your light behind your car really well. Okay, 
So there's that one. Now that was 1,400 lumens, um, as I said before. Um, now this one is supposed to be 2,000 lumens. That's a super bright. Now, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check that out. I want to say that they have two different illuminating features on those, but all right. So here's the P4, all lit up in its glory, as you can tell. Crazy bright work light. Of course, that's the flood lens. Um, let's see if... We can get this one lit up with the spot lens and see if we can tell the difference. <clears throat> oh yeah, I can tell the difference for sure. That's definitely more of a focused beam. We don't sell too many of the spot version. Um, but that's because we do a lot of work truck lighting, so... You know, for us, the flood, <clears throat> the flood lens is uh, more of our top seller. While we're at it, we may as well see how crazy bright the P6 is. Very bright. Whoa, blinding. So, there you go, folks. Um, little history on the Technique lights. Um, there's so many more products. I could do a hundred more videos, and I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't even touch on them. Um, they have LED conversions for the fluorescent lights in your ambulance. They have all kind of interior lighting, LED lighting, um, for any kind of vehicle. They have, um, a huge line of trailer lighting with marker lights, tail lights, reverse lights, turn signals. They have oval, round, grommet, um, flange fit, um, uh, it's... They really make it all. When it comes to LED lighting in a vehicle format, uh, these guys these guys make everything. And also keep in mind, everything here that you see in front of you is covered by their lifetime warranty. As long as you are the original purchaser and the product is found to be defective, they will replace it. No questions asked. So, if you guys have any questions, you can always give us a call at 412-708-6732.
can always visit our website, EliteLEDWarnings.com. And you can always hit us up on our Gmail account. It's 412PSECustoms at gmail.com. At our Gmail account, we are available to customers 24-7, 365, even holidays and weekends. That's right. If you email me on Christmas, I will get back to you. That's how we roll. We are family and first responder owned and operated. So, shop with us. Shop small. Small family owned business. I appreciate you guys coming to the channel. As I said, you guys have any questions, uh, concerns, comments, put them down below. Give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click that little bell icon to make sure you don't miss an upload. We'll be reviewing many more products, shooting many more videos. Um, we're even considering shooting some videos in the shop if uh, if we can get enough feedback and everybody's interested once we get the new facility open. I think that would be really interesting. You'd be able to watch me and my team work on vehicles and... Uh, you know, see what goes on day-to-day -day operation. Um, I appreciate every one of you guys. Happy holidays. Make sure you keep in mind that those, <clears throat> those little elves on the shelf are always watching. All right, everybody. Till next time. Be safe out there.